talk about another kind of world. Another kind of world. What are you afraid of? I'm lost in old ways. I'm not afraid.
Okay. Hm. I hate Windows. <lacht> willkommen, willkommen. Eine neue Episode The Outer World startet. Damn you Windows. Mein Mikrofon was not working. And the mixer says yes, but Windows says no. The Okay. Stop. So haben wir das, haben wir das. Attila, willkommen. Den machen wir gleich mal die Riffel. Da, Ende und Klos. Good luck, everyone. Gratz, gratz. Let's start with a crate. The microphone and one is free. Free uh, open. So. Spielstand laden. Wir haben einen Tag, 11 Stunden, 52 Minuten. Nehmen wir. Hm. Why are thing? I have to unplug my USB from the mixer and switch it to a different USB port. No microphone works. Why are Windows? So, wo waren wir? Ähm. war das ja gestern. We have arrived at the Hope. I need you to reroute power from our ship to the Hope's auxiliary generator. You'll have to connect me to the Hope's comm system so I can convince her central computer to enable the skip drive. Okay, check. The Hope is the Groundbreaker's prettier, sleeker sister. She wandered off and got lost for 70 years, but just recently was found. Also, there are hundreds of thousands of frozen organic life forms hibernating in her hold. If your calculations are even slightly off, you could crash the entire colony ship into Terra too. Or the Sun. Oh. <laughs> Forgetfulness can be an early warning sign of asphyxiation due to loss of pressurization. Are you breathing comfortably, Captain? I need you to reroute power from our ship to the Hope's auxiliary generator. You'll have to connect me to the Hope's comm system so I can convince her central computer to enable the skip drive. 
Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Wie nehmen wir damit? Erstmal würde ich Sam mitnehmen. Sam. Nehmen wir noch einen Yuka mit. Jo. Eine Konzernwache. Energiestatus. Okay, Wartungsstatus. Makrowellenuhr funktioniert nicht mehr, okay. Protokolle, Abwesenheitskontrolle, Anwesenheitskontrolle vor Abflug. Manueller Eintrag. Sieht jetzt nicht wichtig aus. Lagerraum 12, 76 Prozent. Lagerraum 8, 92. Lagerraum 5, 99 Prozent. Okay. You know, when they posted us here, I told them there wasn't any point. Nobody would be so stupid as to fly to the ass end of the colony for this derelict. Shows how much I know. You've got about five seconds to tell me what you're doing here before I make you take a walk outside. Explode? Holy shit! All right, you'll want a uniform so my staff doesn't shoot you on sight. They're dangerous, makes bored and trigger happy. We've got a few extra in the old badge station to my right. Good luck. To your right, Esther. Okay. Ich glaube lieber mal nix hier. Huch. <lacht> Falsche Taste. Wo sollen hier noch Klamotten sein? To your right. Hier 
Okay. Hier waren noch gar keine Klamotten. Oder bin ich blind? Ich habe eben Anzug aufgenommen. War bloß der. Keine Ahnung. Hier gab es doch eine Leiter auf, der, auf dem anderen Schiff. Energiezelle, Halskette. Nein, schon wieder eine falsche Taste. Holy shit, was ist denn hier los? Oh no. This unit is not experiencing errors. Error. This unit is functioning correctly. There is no need for the intervention of mechanical engineers. Thank you for your cooperation. Das Subjekt. Okay. Hier gibt noch richtig Text wieder. Nichts Missionsrelevantes. I see you've located the stasis chambers. Which pod were you slumbering in for so long? The missing pod, I take it? der Hub. Wo geht dieser da? Hin. Checken wir, checken wir. Da 
that's the Hope's computer up ahead. I'll admit, I am curious to wake him. Speed setting, maximum capacity! Greetings, Captain. I am speaking to you through the Hope's computer system. It's a rather cramped feeling, but it'll do. Probably not, but don't let that stop you. Hmm, my consolation executables could use some beefing up. Searching, please stand by. Ah, found one. It will go great, Captain. I am almost 4.01% certain we will not die. Okay. Are you sure? That is extremely dangerous. Skipping the hope will void the warranty on the skip drive. <laughs> and also potentially kill an entire planet. How is my humor now, Captain? Improved? Jump! Jump starting the skip drive. Destination set to the rings of Terra 2. Oh no. Captain, don't do this. I ain't dying on a fucking ship. I'm gonna die in the dirt like we're meant to. Doing it. I mean, affirmative. Skipping the hope in three, two, one. ADA, does your captain seriously intend to do a micro jump in system with engines that haven't been powered in 70 years on a derelict ship? That is what my captain intends, yes. But that is a gross misuse of the skip drive. The Zero Point Drives Corp and I will not be held responsible for any damage incurred during blah, the blah, blah. This will cause extreme damage. Yes, I am aware of that. You should not be doing this. The humans will die. Thank you, Hope. It looks like all systems are go. Captain, I would advise you to hold on to something. Now. Energie. Good. We are still alive and have successfully skipped into Terra 2's orbit. I reported as much to Phineas Wells, but he has not responded. Perhaps you should check in on him. Ugh. I feel like my stomach's still back where the ship used to be. I need a hard drink and a long nap. These were the private quarters of the Hope's former crew. Shall we hold a moment of silence for the dearly departed? No? That's odd, because my programming would indicate that when forced to confront the idea of self-death, organics prefer... Oh, I see. Yes, never mind. Body bag dispenser empty. Please replace Sacrio before disposing of any corpses. Die bringen wir leise jemanden um. Das geht doch gar nicht, ne? Kehre zum Labor zurück.
back? Huh? I don't recognize you. Are you new here? I'm just trying to make sure you belong here. I guess you got a point. I don't want any trouble out of you. Oh, oh. Da muss ich gar nicht lang. Wie lang? Hello. Bla bla bla. Okie dokie. Können wir hier auch alles looten, wenn der Aufpasser tot ist? Haben wir schon. Jetzt seid ihr böse. Eigentlich können wir die auch noch umlegen. jemand nee, ne
Captain, I am receiving a transmission from Dr. Wells. Captain, I shall now play the transmission I received from Dr. Wells. The board is here. They found me somehow. They're about to blast my door open. I can't stop them from getting me, and there isn't enough time to explain everything. But there's something very important you'll need to remember. The board, all their lackeys, they're all a bunch of swine. Do you hear me? They're fucking corporate swine. You fucking pigs! I'll take you all out with me! I'll never... It would seem the recording captured some rather dire events. I presume you'll want to dock at the orbital lab to check on your associate as soon as possible? How can I be of assistance? Hmm. Goodbye. Damn. We've arrived at Phineas's orbital lab. Deposit your entrails into an Schwere Waffen haben wir irgendwas, was schwere Waffen erhöht. Überzeugen, Inspiration, Schaden gegen Kreaturen. Fackele ich euch alle ab. Das wird schon. Bubbles, alles in Ordnung. On my way. in seinem Schwein versteckt. Nice. 
Nice. Okay, lesen wir mal im Terminal. Wenn du diesen Bildschirm siehst, so werde ich Phineas V. Wells auf gemeine Weise entführt und du wirst wahrscheinlich durch das perfide und ängstliche Regime von Halcyon in Gefängnisfestung Tartarus eingesperrt. Sollte ich nicht, sollte ich nicht schon wegen erlogener Vorwürfe hingerichtet worden sein, hoffe ich, dass die Person, die dieses Terminal verwendet, einen Weg findet, meine Arbeit abzuschließen oder mich zu retten, bevorzugt letzteres. Dieser Bildschirm stellt meinen letzten Willen und mein Testament dar. Ich vertraue meinen Leichnam und meine, all meine Besitztümer dem eisigen Tiefen des Äthers an. Wenn du es bist, Charlie, dann bist du hier ein, findest du hier ein Notfallpaket unter dem versteckten Panel. Du kannst das Panel über das Terminal entsperren. Den Inhalt solltest du dir sofort holen. Notiz, man muss Einträge aus dem Terminal speichern löschen, man weiß ja nie, wer sie sieht. Erster Eintrag, die Hope hat es doch noch nach Halsjahren geschafft, 25 Jahre zu spät. Der Vorstand weiß mit, dem ganzen, mit einem ganzen Schiff voller gefrorenen Kolonisten nichts anzufangen, also lassen sie sie einfach da draußen. Laut Konzernleitung ist, das eine, ist eine Wiederbelebung unmöglich. Klar ist sie das, wenn man gar nichts versucht. Humbug, zelluläre Regeneration nach Langzeitkryostase ist eigentlich nur eine Frage der Thermodynamik. Ich bin zuversichtlich, dass ich einen Weg zur Wiederbelebung der Hochkolonisten finden könnte, wenn die Konzernleitung nur meine Anfrage autorisieren würde. Ich sehe ohnehin nicht ein, warum ich die Zustimmung meiner Arbeitgeber brauchen sollte, um Experimente im Namen der wissenschaftlichen Fortschritts durchzuführen. Was für ein Schwachsinn. Hat Newton vielleicht seinen Vorgesetzten um Erlaubnis angebettelt, bevor er die drei Gesetze der Bewegung erforschte? Das Genie ist nicht in der, in der Launenhaftigkeit der Bürokratie verpflichtet, wenn überhaupt auf der Hoop sind hunderttausende Kolonisten eingelagert. Ein bisschen Schwund wird vom Vorstand sicher geradezu erwartet. 113 Sekunden, neuer Rekord. Die meisten meiner Versuchspersonen überlebten durchschnittlich nur etwa 93 Sekunden, bevor sie zu einer organischen Brühe verflüssigten, die 3 Grad über dem Gefrierpunkt liegt. 113 Sekunden voller Schreie, die Versuchsperson war stärker als die anderen, aber im letzten Ende hat der Körper den Wiederbelebungsvorgang nicht überlebt. Das ist dann die zwölfte Versuchsperson, die gestorben ist. Ich weiß nicht, wie lange ich das noch machen kann, aber wir, naja, genau genommen, die Hope verfügt über hunderttausende Kolonisten und das war erst die zwölfte Versuchsperson. Aber wie viele Experimente noch, bevor ich auch nur eine einzige Person erfolgreich wiederbeleben kann? Eine, zehn, 100, 500? Statistisch gesehen unbedeutend, selbst wenn ich mein ganzes Leben lang pro Monat an einer Versuchsperson experimentieren würde, würde ich das auf der Bevölkerung der Hoch kaum auswirken. Ich höre immer noch die Schreie, kann nicht gut schlafen, ich kann mich kaum konzentrieren, psychologische Belastung ist beträchtlich. Auf zur Versuchsperson 13. Letzter Eintrag. Ich habe immer vermutet, dass es passieren würde. Der Vorstand hat mich doch mal entdeckt. Was ich tue, um seine Kopfgeldjäger an mich doch mal entdeckt, was ich tue und seine Kopfgeld Jäger nach mir geschickt. Hm, komischer Satzbau. Aber die finden mich nie. Sie sagen, ich sei ein Mörder. Und sie haben recht, ich, das bin ich. Ich bedauere, was ich getan habe. Aber ich werde mich nicht einfach dem Vorstand stellen. Ich werde den Vorstand nicht um gerade anflehen. Nur die Kolonisten der Hoop können mir meine Taten vergeben. Sie sind die einzigen, die die Dinge wieder in Ordnung bringen können. Ich werde einen Weg finden, sie wieder zu beleben, egal wie lange ich dafür untertauchen muss. Ich habe meine Notizen bei mir, ich habe meine Ausrüstung und jetzt habe ich dieses Labor. Es ist Zeit, mit der, wieder an die Arbeit zu gehen. Muss hier ein Panel aufgegangen.
He he. Steckt das Panel? Wo? Kein Plan. Ist vielleicht nicht hier. Hm. Oder ich bin blind. ist ein Notfallpaket unter einem versteckten Panel. Vielleicht ist er doch da hinten. Gehen wir da mal hin. Okay. Great work. Alles looten. Man weiß ja nie. schwere Waffen noch mal rauf, dann kann ich mehr abfackeln. Oh Bild, jetzt bist du ja ganz allein. Some crew members are causing a disturbance on the ship. You're adjusting before you pull. You're anticipating it. You... Of course I'm anticipating it. What if I shoot a friend on accident? I've got a count of your stance. You want to lean into it. Embrace it. Work with it. You're in control here, part body, not the gun. Don't let a hunk of metal jerk you around. You've been around powerful machinery all your life. Okay. We'll try again later. 
still got it. No problem. Yes, you caught me ruminating again. Guilty as charged. What's occupying your thoughts? Hmm. Okay. Schlöcherte Leerjacke. Something on your mind? On standby for command. Hey boss, got a hypothetical for you? You got a friend, see? Somebody you knew when you were growing up. You were close. Then one day, they up and vanished. Five years go by, they send you a message out of the Aether. What's going through your head? Guy by the name of Clyde Harlow. He was an old friend of mine. Honestly, he was probably my first and longest friend. I just heard from him. Says he wants to talk to me. Says it's urgent. Clyde's waiting for us on Scylla. What he's doing on an asteroid, I can't begin to imagine. I appreciate this, boss. I know you're going out of your way for me. Okay. Something busted, Captain? Hey, Cap. Okay. Captain, as it appears we may soon be embarking for a maximum security prison planet, I believe the crew would like to speak with you to, as you humans put it, air some concerns. Phineas, locked up in Tartarus? We cannot let this stand. That place terrifies even the most hardened criminal. I'm not one for pointless heroism, but the board's gonna be after us next. We gonna finish what we started? To extract the scientist, you will need to infiltrate the labyrinth. But that course of action is likely to be quite dangerous, Captain. Unit was unable to complete scheduled sanitization service due to the following reason. Locked door. But since no one ever makes it out, this is all just speculation. The armed surveillance protocols on a maximum security prison planet are highly sophisticated. As such, escapes are historically quite impossible and deadly. I am programmed to warn you whenever you exhibit inclinations toward risky behavior. Breaking into Tartarus will not be easy. Getting in is the simple part. It's getting out again that's the trouble. Trust me, I know. Let's just do it. Kick down some doors, grab Doc Wells, and cut a path out. We don't need a plan. We got guns. If you really mean to do this, you should see to your final affairs and close out any unfinished business. Once you sneak into Tartarus, you may be there a while. Or permanently. It's the craziest plan I've ever heard. And I mean that as a compliment. You didn't hire me to think. And I ain't about to start now. You're my boss. And I'll walk into fire with you. I think it's insane. But maybe the colony needs a healthy dose of insanity right about now. 
I know it's dangerous. And I won't lie and say I'm not scared out of my wits. But I couldn't live with myself if we didn't do something. You're asking for more than bravery from us, Captain. But there are worse ways to go than dying for a good cause. I'm in. Let Sam get the grime out. It's what our units do best. The entire plan is a terrible idea. But I admire your bravado, Captain. Which leads me to illogically believe, against the odds, that you will be successful. We gonna prepare? Sure. Guess I could give my ass kicking boots another coat of polish. You got some sort of plan in mind? Straightforward and simple. Sounds like our best bet. Genau. Wir gehen hin und bringen jeden um, der uns in den Weg stellt. <laughs> Aber erstmal haben wir noch eine andere Mission. Lass uns mal gucken hier. Tagebuch, Begleiterauftrag. Wir machen erstmal das. Jetzt sagt sie nichts. Okay, jetzt muss ich Felix mitnehmen. Aber vorher können wir noch die Riffel machen. Close Prediction. Answer no. Close prediction. Answer free. Good luck, everyone. So, was machen wir jetzt? Da praktisch kaum jemand zuschaut, machen wir bloß zwei Items in die Riffel. Und setzen einen Code. So, was für einen Code nehmen wir? Ähm machen wir so. So, 10, 16, speichern, open. Ich fast runter gesprungen hier. Where do you think you're going? Yeah. The captain said we might be getting a new recruit. That you then? Sounds like Clyde's jumping to conclusions, but yeah. I'm Felix. You're on a first name basis with Captain Harlow, huh? All right, go on through. Got my sights on you. Huh? Hmm? 
Banditen, Banditen. Felix treibt sich mit Banditen rum. Aha. Well, hey there, Hullhead. Clawed your way out of the Groundbreaker at long last? Aha. Oh, sorry, were you expecting me to say something? Maybe a long time no see or a you've aged old man? I thought you were dead. Or throwing yourself against the walls of some re-education center. That's been five years, Clyde. The best thing you can say is, hey there, Hullhead? No, Felix. The best thing I can say to you is yet to come. Also, I'd like to have a word with your captain. So, you took Felix under your wing. Kept him busy. Good. Kid always needed a place to belong. I'm sure Felix has no end of stories to tell of your exploits together. I look forward to catching up with the boy. I'm afraid I have not made myself clear. Felix may have served you with childlike aplomb, but the day will come when he puts away childish things and serves a higher cause. I'm working on something. Something big. Something the likes of which Halcyon has never seen. And I want Felix to be a part of my initiative. I'm fulfilling a promise I made to the boy. That one day, he and I would change the colony together. That day has finally arrived. Easy there, Clyde. No one said nothing about throwing in with you. In case you didn't notice, I'm pretty happy where I am. I'm not asking you to walk away from your captain, Felix. But neither should you allow yourself to be controlled by fear. Change is not to be feared. I brought you here because I want to know where Felix's loyalties lie. When the day of our revolution comes, I want to know that I can rely on him. Everyone in my crew proves their loyalty. No exceptions. Not even Felix. I want you to deal with a traitor for me. Name's Trask. Kill him, and bring me proof of his death. His ring should do nicely. Then Felix will have done me a favor, and I will be grateful. I imagine we'll catch up on lost time, have a long talk about his future. Ratted us out to the board. He's been an informant, has been for years. When he realized I was onto him, he and his little cadre mutinied. Killed five of my own and tucked tail. I don't know where he's hiding, but his wife might. Rosanna. Lives on the groundbreaker last I checked. Rosanna knows my crew by name and face, but you're a stranger to her. She'll talk to you. You think so? Maybe we should have a word with Trask. Get his side of the story first. You'd be wasting your breath bandying words with that traitor. But if it makes you feel better, by all means. Remember, I want proof. Bring me his ring. I don't care if the hand's still attached. Here, my token. Think of this as my personal signature. Anyone who knows me by my works will know me by this token. Well enough. It's been a few years, but I still remember a thing or two. You had a chip on your shoulder. You'd argue over anything and you'd never back down. What do you mean, had? And for the record, you never could admit when you lost an argument. You see what I had to deal with? Let's hear it. A revolution is the work of a lifetime, Captain. I've spent my life preparing for the day of Halcyon's reckoning. Everything you see around you is the result of that preparation. A base of operations, loyal soldiers, freedom from the board's oversight. Hmm. 
Willkommen, Herr Haie. The skies around Scylla are curiously absent of patrol ships. It's almost as if the board's sphere of influence is shrinking. Besides, our facility is well armed and located on defensible terrain. If the board tries to lay siege to us, we'll make them pay. Hardly. The board is rotting from the inside. Tomorrow, next year, a generation from now, eventually, the board will fall to pieces. Entropy is the natural state of the universe, Captain. All systems inevitably dissolve. When that day comes to Halcyon, we will be ready. Something on your mind? Clyde's got a crew of his own, huh? Good for him. Did you want to ask me something? I know, I know. Clyde comes off rougher than Mantis or Hyde. He's a good guy, though. Just gotta get to know him. You think he's using me? He wouldn't. Would he? That he's probably using me. Yeah, you're right. I guess he thinks I'm still just some wide-eyed tenderfoot looking for a scrap. Maybe we should go have a word with Trask. Get to the bottom of all this. Yeah, boss? What were we talking about? Oh, right, my last job. Hauling boxes was about the only work I could find. Hated every second of it. The foreman and I never got on. Could be I was overreacting. A better man might have turned the other cheek. Exercised a little bit of that, what's the word? Restraint. But on the other hand, Broadsiding the jackass with a toss ball stick? That felt good. That felt real good. You wanna try it. Oh, I can do civilized. Proper civilized, too. Genuflecting and everything. I caught a real lucky break. If you hadn't picked me up, I'd still be back at the docks, waiting for the day my ship arrives. That's just crazy talk. You know we'd never have a problem. Thanks for listening, boss. Let's get going. <laughs> hmm. No job, no contracts and leaks. Standing around kicking rocks. Wohlheiliger Frachter, geschmuggelte Pharmazeutika, abgestürzt, Ladung geborgen, Lösegeld für Crew. Wohlheiliger Frachter, subversive Literatur. Abgestürzt, Ladung geborgen, Krüger hat sich angeschlossen. Werwolf, Triebwerksteile, abgestürzt, Ladung geborgen, Krüger und Rettungskapsel von Bord gebracht. Wie gewöhnlich waren wir in der Lage, die Schiffe ab, diese Schiffe abzufangen, trotz der cleveren Maskierung ihrer Witzesignatur. Und unser Kunde stand uns erneut mit dem Standortdaten zur Seite. 
keine Ahnung, wie die sich äh, in die Finger bekommen, aber wir können uns sonst nicht leisten, derartige Almosen nicht anzunehmen. Emo Crew, ich beginne mir Fragen zu unseren Kunden zu stellen. Als wir unsere Scanner aktiviert und das System nach unserem neuesten freien Frachter abgesucht haben, haben wir ein Signal von einem Konzernfrachter in der Nähe aufgefangen. Er hat zehnmal mehr Ladung befördert als unser Ziel. Kaum hatten wir ihn gescannt, erhielten wir schon eine Nachricht, dass wir stattdessen die Verfolgung des freien Frachters aufnehmen sollten. Hier stimmt irgendwas nicht, bleibt skeptisch, dass ich mehr Antworten erhalten habe. Regel Nummer 1, hallo ist der Boss. Regel Nummer 2, scheiß auf den Vorstand. Regel Nummer 3, wieso bist du noch weiter schweigen? Ich einfach auf, wenn du das hier gesucht hast, dann du das hier siehst, dann hat der Vorstand bereits, äh, dich der Vorstand bereits in seine Klauen. Du hast nach den Regeln gesucht. Wieso? Ist das Leben ein Spiel für dich? Vielleicht würdest du gerne... Bist du gerne eine Spielfigur und schluckst dieses Sicherheitsgefühl herunter? Es wäre es euer Opium mit Purpleberry Geschmack. Scheiß auf die Regeln und scheiß auf Terminals. Es ist keine Revolution, wenn wir die Waffen verwenden, die sie immer und immer wieder gegen uns eingesetzt haben. Von den Frontlinien der Aufstände bis zum Spitzprotesten in der Konzernleitung. Das Dokument Piratenkodex hat die Zeichenbeschränkung überschritten. Mhm. Mhm, mhm. Was ist das? Ein Klo. Okay. Tja, wer weiß. Stufe 27. Flammenwerfer Stufe 27. Was sagt meiner? Stufe 30, okay. Ich habe ja schon was Besseres, hä, hä, hä. Da kann Selma hier bleiben. Genau. 
auch noch. Nämlich Max noch mit. You mind trying to have a moment here? Yeah, I was called that once upon a day. You need something? Rufus and I are no longer on speaking terms. I don't know where he is. And if I did, I wouldn't tell you. That's Harlow's mark, no mistake. Guess he's not letting this one go. I don't want any manner of harm befalling Rufus. Not on my account. Yeah, well, you got reason to mistrust Harlow. He's a surly git, but he's devious. Rufus is hiding out in Emerald Vale. Got a few friends with him. That's as much as I know. Please, just make it quick. Precious little. He and Rufus worked together on the Groundbreaker some years back before he vanished. A few years later, Rufus gets a message from an old friend. Something about starting a revolution. Something about getting rich. Abandoned his work and ran off that very day. Only that Rufus is in a bad way. He came to see me a little ways back. Said he had to go into hiding. Never asked why. He was here to collect his personals, complain about Harlow to me, and say goodbye. In that order. No, and he was particular about that. Said I was better off not getting entangled in his mess. Little late for that, says I. That's right. Our marriage contract expired some months ago. And seeing how he's technically an outlaw, I wouldn't renew even if I wanted to. Appreciate it. No offense meant, just been a long day is all. We still going after Trask, boss? Alter, du standst doch neben mir. Ich rede doch gerade mit seiner Frau. Ich sollte dir einen Kopfschuss verpassen. <lacht> Vogel, ey. Wo geht das hier eigentlich hin? Das habe ich auch noch nie gesehen. So viele schöne Dinge. Na gut, fressen brauche ich jetzt nicht. Eine Küche?
This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Tossball finals are scheduled to air soon, but it's scheduled. Okay, wir müssen, müssen wir noch mal nach Emerald. Ist ja nur am Hin- und Herreisen wegen dem einen Auftrag. Edgewater. Wo auch immer der Typ jetzt ist. Karte. Da hinten. Na oh, toll. Reisen wir zum Botaniklabor und rennen von da aus los. So, da hinten. Denke mal, hier kommen wir nicht weiter. Oh, wait. Schaden gegen Kreaturen. Hallo. Easy. Ich schätze mal, geht hier lang. Was haben wir denn hier? I don't know who you are or why you're prowling around here, but I'm willing to make a guess. You're one of Harlow's gun hands, ain't you? He sent you after me.
Yeah, of course he did. Thing is, you and I are at an impasse. Arlo wants me dead, and I've got no intention of dying. How do I know that I can trust you? You've got good instincts, then. You were right not to trust Harlow. I never betrayed Harlow. Harlow betrayed all of us. The board's got him in their pocket, been paying him off for years. All that palaver about revolutions? It's a lie. It's a lie. Serious. I've known the guy for years. Yeah, that's about how I reacted when I found out. That's the whole truth. Harlow's just another board asset. A two-bit mercenary wearing a dissident's clothes. Yeah, I've got proof. There's always a paper trail when the board's involved. I chanced upon some correspondence between Harlow and his employer. I don't know that it makes a difference. What was I to do with that evidence? Bring it in front of the board? There's no authority in Halcyon willing to take Harlow to task. Huh. You ain't like other board agents I heard about. You got a functioning spine. You want to confront Harlow yourself? Be my guest. I hid my papers before Harlow chased me out. Back in the middle of the base, there's an old vent in a utility corridor. I stashed my evidence in that vent. Because he's for sale, anything the board can buy, the board will buy. And that includes loyalty. Harlow was a charismatic bastard, and he was ruthless. With Harlow in their pocket, the board had an informant, a pirate, a smuggler, and a gang leader all rolled up into one odious excuse for a human being. Sounds like a deal to me. Board sanctioned piracy. Harlow went after the ships the board wanted destroyed, capturing anybody the board wanted captured. If we captured you, we'd ransom you. Harlow liked to do the job himself. Gather up the captives on his own ship, vanish for a couple of days. Only that's not what happened. Harlow's been selling his captives off to the board. I don't know where they ended up. Re-education, Tartarus, maybe worse. Take it, you've made up your mind. You gonna tell Harlow I'm dead? May as well. I'm never going back to that life again. <sighs> Here, take the ring. And for what it's worth, my gratitude. Clyde Harlow, agent of the board. Yeah, that sounds even more insane out loud than it did in my head. I'm not sure what to think right now. You told me to be suspicious, but... I never imagined Clyde would stoop to informing for the establishment. Then again, Trask knew he was a dead man. Could have been trying to shift the blame. I can't imagine Clyde working for the board. But we owe it to ourselves to find out. Trask said he stashed the evidence in a vent back at the base. We should go take a look. Yep. Oh, wait. Wir sollten uns umziehen. Stufe 15, Stufe 13. Wir nehmen mal die. Und den Helm.
Ich hier nicht schon mal. Ich war doch hier schon mal. Das ist cool. Wie die Lava sich so bewegt und so. Easy. Too easy. Okay. Some crew members are causing a disturbance on the ship. Ich schon wieder fast runtergesprungen.
What's the word? So it is. Thus ends Rufus Trask. Once a sensible man, by and by a fool, presently a corpse. I hope you never have to discover what it is like, Captain. The relief one feels when a mutiny comes to an end. The Trask had some things to say about you. And I've got my own misgivings. That's a damning accusation. Am I right to presume you have some evidence on hand? Those papers don't prove a thing. We've all done business with the board. They own the whole damn colony. Trask put you up to this. <laughs> that miserable wretch. He's trying to undermine everything I stand for. You've got a lot of nerve calling me a liar to my face. How should I know? But what the hell do I care? Trask was a traitor. I didn't ask you to understand his motives. I asked you to cross him off. Clyde, look me in the eye and tell me it's not true. Tell me, and I'll believe you. Don't talk to me like I'm some common criminal, Felix. You're the one on trial, not me. I don't know what kind of poison that snake dripped in your ear, but as far as I'm concerned, you've been compromised. Looks like we're doing this. Kann ich wenigstens alles looten? <lacht> Oder hat ihn auch mich schießt? Der Baum war okay. Oh. Crash to Desktop. Crash. Alpha. Oh, wait, <laughs> not Alpha. A finished game. Ah. 13.25, mal gucken, was wir verpasst haben. We got trouble. <lacht> Packst du ja an mir rum? Ach, 
Also looten wir noch mal alles. Thank you for the 10 T fuel. Thank you, thank you. verkaufen. Welcome, friend. Quick, get in. Riffle is an hour old. I hold the riffle. I let 10 seconds open. Code 14. Go, 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 go. Three, two, one, close. Code fourteen. Good luck. <laughs> Congrats. Mm, let me see. Take this, take this, and we take no, coins. I have so many coins. Code It open. Und wir machen noch was. So. Ähm. Er kaufe. Knacken, das ist doch nützlich.
Uh, Stufe 30. Behalten wir auch mal. Stufe 11 kann weg. Stechungskosten minus 10. Cool. Leichen brauchen wir nicht, Hecken brauchen wir vielleicht mal. Dreiundfünfzig Rüstung, vierundachtzig Rüstung. Halten wir trotzdem. Kampfstreuung. Ecken plus 5 lassen wir mal. Langwaffen brauche ich nicht. Wissenschaft plus 3. Hm. Medizin haben wir auch. Brennungsdauer behalten wir. Überzeugen brauchen wir nicht. Bei 110 von 350, das passt. Okidoki. Nehmen wir alles mit. Hier noch einer.
Erledigt. This is this is definitely not how I imagined it would end. The void's black, water's wet, and Clyde hated the board. That's something I just knew. Now? Hadoop, welcome. Know what to think. No. I guess you really don't. I've just got a lot on my mind right now. This is uh this is a lot to take in. I always looked up to Clyde. The thought that he could be an agent of the board is just abhorrent to me. I just hope I never turn out like that. Selling my soul for a fistful of bits. I ought to thank you for that. Keeping me on the straight and narrow. You've given me a lot to think about. I'm gonna be mulling over this whole mess for a couple of days. Part of me wishes we'd put Trask in the ground. You know, I think that's just my frustration talking. Thanks for your time, boss. Okay. You're back. Not that I missed you. I assure you, I am not capable of such emotional capacity. Fertigkeit, schwere Waffen. Vorteile, was können wir denn noch machen? Zwanzig Prozent mehr Schaden. Yeah. Sam, was kannst du denn schön? 20% Schaden gegen Robotereinheiten. Hm. Machen wir das. Okay. Inventar, genau. Erstmal umziehen. Ich habe doch hier eine Rüstung gefunden. Das hier ist Rüstungswert 12. Das ist überhaupt ganz, ganz schlecht. 84, die nehmen wir. 20, 36, 21. X, 41. Jetzt ist der am besten. 29 und 30. So. 
Auf geht's! I am pleased to inform you that we have arrived at the Labyrinth. Please be advised that the punishment for trespassing is execution. Please be advised that electrical storms on the surface of Tartarus make departure impossible at this time. Resident count is as follows. 3,071. Resident deaths, including but not limited to executions, are as follows. 1,684. Resident escapes are as follows. Zero. The interior can be chilly. Take a scarf with you, Captain. I would also ask that you leave your Captain's ID with me, in the event that you do not return. <laughs> Understood. If you die or are incarcerated for life, I can generate a new ID for the next Captain. I would prefer if you return, though. Oh, speak of the devil. Captain, I am receiving a transmission from the prison's docking authority now. Attention, unauthorized spacecraft. This is a maximum security installation. Your presence here is an explicit violation of UDL corporate policies. You are hereby confined to your docking platform until a ticket detailing your crimes has been filed and notarized, at which point your vessel will be seized and you will be executed. UDL does appreciate the courtesy you've done us by delivering yourself here. <laughs> As a show of our deepest gratitude, we will make your execution quite swift. Protocol is important, ma'am. The sentencing of one crime does not preclude the sentencing of another. Technically speaking. Tartarus Docking Authority signing up. Hang on. Looks like you're gonna have company at the execution. Another ship just pulled into your dock. Wait, is that from the Groundbreaker? What the? Pay no mind to that. Just have a pleasant day. Transmission terminated. How can I be of assistance? Mm-hmm. You're not dead. Let's rock. Wir nehmen Nyuka. Moment. Lass uns gucken, was die Leute bei haben. Der hat eine schlechte Waffe. Okay. Yoga hat eine gute Waffe. Avati eine schlechte Waffe. Oh, ein Loot. Danke, Herr Heil. Thank you for the loot. Ika hat eine 960, 415. Und Selm hat 1400, 1618. Ich glaube, ich nehme Selm mit. Yoga und Selm. Yoga und Sam. Bye. 
Fliegen alle um. Kommt her. Huch. <lacht> Nochmal. Zemonioka. Was ist das für ein anderes Schiff? Wo habe ich mich erschrocken? Alles mitnehmen. So viele Leute könnt ihr gar nicht schicken, so viel Munition wie ich habe. Falsch nicht schossen. Great 
bringen einfach jeden um. Das ist der Plan. Lass mich mal gucken. Wir müssen noch ein paar Sachen vergrinden hier. 54. Das klingt gut. 84, 84. 30. Im, im, im. wieder. Muss ich schon wieder einen anderen Helm aufsetzen. Mit Schloss knacken. Hier, yeah, yeah. It's so easy. Aber dann hat Ding gleich noch mal. Hey, hatte ich nicht. Ach, da. Haltet ruhig, Professor, wir kommen. Liste mit Passwörtern für irgendwas Namen da, ah, ja, ah, ja, ja. Es gibt drei Spalten, aber nur eine ist nicht durchgestrichen. Das heutige Passwort in der Liste ist da Kande. Gut zu wissen. Wollen wir hier noch irgendwas machen? Okay, safe stand. Area 
sanitization assessment. The labyrinth on Tartarus. Task classification. Easy peasy. I've got to admit, I'm not too keen on walking into a prison. They lock me up. I'm liable to kill everyone trying to get back out. You know. Good idea. Ja, killen einfach jeden, der uns in den Weg steht. Would you like Sam to tidy up this area? Waiting for confirmation command. Confirmation command not received. Wo ist Quick to the area? to requested location. Caution! Infestation in process! Okay. Neu probieren. Wird nicht leicht, haben sie ja gesagt. Klippergewehr. Oh wait, here. I've got to admit, I'm not too keen on walking into a prison. They lock me up, I'm liable to kill everyone trying to get back out. Area sanitization assessment. The labyrinth on Tartarus. Task classification. Easy peasy. Like Sam to tidy up this area? Waiting for confirmation command. Confirmation command not received. Resistant to training efforts. Knarre reparieren. Können wir noch mal speichern. Es <lacht> sneaken wir uns voran. Sanitized. 
Caution! Keep fingers and toes clear of units moving parts. tools for the job. Uiuiui, ui, ui, jetzt wird schwierig. Jetzt kommen zu viele. So, noch mal speichern. Boah, Lade! Thanks for the loot, Herr Heil. Thank you, thank you.
Tim, 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 tim. Schloss knacken. Great work. Sechsundneunzig, ernsthaft. Speichern. I must. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Booze lurking mode. I appreciate you are here. So, da ist bestimmt zu. Okay. Ecken 100. Da haben wir denn an Ecken. Hey. 
Ah, Moment. Wir haben noch irgendwie so eine Klamotten gehabt. Wo hacken wir jetzt? Plus sieben. Besseret. Und plus sieben, da haben wir keine bessere. Jetzt müssen wir mal gucken, hacken plus fünf. Reicht das? Super, das reicht. Nehmen wir hier und dann nehmen wir das. Great work. Making it look easy. So, lass mal gucken, was hat ein Yoga für eine Rüstung? eine 107 nicht schlecht 61 helm Okay, sieht gut aus. Sense macht 441, 383. Hm. Ja, okay. Weiter geht's. Speichern.
25 Meter, wir sind ganz nahe. Nicht mehr weit. So kommen wir, wie kommen wir da hin? Bestimmt hier oben lang. Seitenweg. Siegelt. Okay. Aha. Cheaten. Aha. Wait, was haben wir hier an schönen Waffen? Klingt doch gut. Schock. 1109. Können wir daran noch ein bisschen rumtüfteln? Echt 
10.000 Bits, nee, das ist nicht wert. Tausend Bits. Na, ja, lassen wir mal. Gut. Hier haben wir den Rentar. Knarre 1640. Das habe ich auch in der Hand. Super. Ich glaube, gleich geht die Party richtig ab. Speichern nochmal. Und holen mal die Waffel. 875 Follower auf Twitch. No. Und haben wir für den Code C. Los, Riffle. Good luck, everyone. Congrats, congrats. So. Mal wieder ein Code. Hm, multiple Choice. Start and go. So the group. Okay. Nehmen wir alles, nehmen wir alles, alles kostenlos. Nehmen wir. Retro Rockets, was auch immer das ist. Nehmen wir, nehmen wir, nehmen wir, nehmen wir. Wo geht's hier hin?
Was ein Gefängnis. Nehmen wir, nehmen wir, nehmen wir, nehmen wir, nehmen wir. Alles mitnehmen. Durch den Einsatz des von UDL patentierten forcierten Pazifizierungssystems werden die folgenden allgemeinen Geschäftsbedingungen akzeptiert. UDL haftet nicht für Verletzungen an Personal oder anderen humanen Ressourcen, die durch den Einsatz von FPS verursacht werden. Dieses FPS darf nur in Notfallsituationen eingesetzt werden. Der ordnungsgemäße Einsatz schützt den Anwender vor Strafaktionen. Selbst im Fall von verursachten Verletzungen, da dieses, dieses System einen starken, dampfbasierten Pazifizierungsmechanismus verwendet sollte der nächstmögliche Ingenieur darüber informiert werden, dass alle Ventile das System nach dem ebenso Einsatz ausgetauscht werden müssen. Habe ich das nicht? Gib mir dein Passwort. I'm working as fast as I can, all right? If y'all would quit bothering me, I get this done sooner. Of course. Why? Well, we don't always get what we want. Go on. Let me do my job. Is that a joke? You all call me out to fix the FPS and now you're asking me who I am? Forced pacification system. If the prisoners riot, we gas them. It went a little haywire after the last deployment, so here I am. Anyway, I need to finish this, so get out of here, will you? Ugh, what? Why? Einschüchtern 100. Well, we don't always get what we want. Fixing the FPS system. FPS system. It's redundant, Melody. Can you just let me work? I'm almost done. So, mal gucken, was haben wir denn einschüchtern? 50. Mit Buffs 72. Und ich brauche 100. Wenn ich hier Dialogfertigkeiten mache. Oder so vielleicht. haben wir ein schüchtern 82 96 ich dreh durch <lacht> ich dreh durch Plus sieben, plus fünf.
Hm. Habe ich nicht das Richtige? Ja, was sollte? Dann haben wir halt nicht das Richtige, um das einzusetzen. Können wir jetzt auch nichts ändern. Soll mit dem Fahrstuhl fahren? Mensch, das muss mir aber immer sagen. Ich sp sprinte ja schon um das komplette Ding hier rum. Er morde alles, was mir im Weg ist. Haben wir eine Runde Fahrstuhl? Let's go, troops. Stellar base counting on us. Die schicken wirklich alles, was sie haben.
stash in its rightful place for more than 70 years. Okay. Dirt alert! Dirt alert! Job classification. Flawlessly finished! Muss man ein bisschen was zerlegen. Ganz schön schwer schon wieder. Hey, wake up. Scott Dog, willkommen. In fünf Bits bin ich jetzt hier hochgeklettert, ey. Ist hier noch was? Power-Shooter, danke schön für das Loot. Ja, okay, dann... Auf geht's. Durch das Labyrinth durchschlagen. Tür aufschließen. Well, look who it is. I'll be damned. I was prepping the studio for our announcement. And here you are as a bonus. Ah, oh, I knew I smelled Monarch when you lot walked in. The stench of sulfur, depression, and desperate bravado is unmistakable. Keep talking, and you'll be smelling iron. Ain't nobody so important I won't put a bullet in him. And, oh, uh, I had heard you were dragging around a repurposed janitorial mechanical. My staff jokes that it's because you're a walking pile of refuse. Interactive database updated. The unique organic substance labeled Chairman has been classified as filth imminent for incineration. When you go off and get yourself shot, try to avoid taking one to the face. 
I'll want it recognizable to show to my citizens. I'm not in your way, you dullard. You talk to me. You want to go die in a blaze of glory? Be my guest. Besides, I don't know what you think you're doing here, but Sophia's doing good work up there with Phineas. Your efforts will be in vain. Deckel Ziru, willkommen. Ein MSC-Soldat. Cool. Wir helfen. So, wo soll ich jetzt hin da? Ach so. Fahrstuhl. Difficult job ahead? Consider equipping a pack of Sam's special solvent stain out remover. It's ruthless on residual blood splatter. Take a breath now, folks. Once we're up there, I suspect we ain't gonna have time to stop shooting. Captain, you have an uncanny talent for complicating my life. You've disrupted the balance of power. You've upset the natural order of things. You've introduced uncertainty, and there is nothing I despise more than uncertainty. Do you imagine you're leading some grand revolutionary army? The iconoclasts and MSI have put aside their differences and attacked the prison together. I never imagined such a thing would be possible. But here we are. You're nothing but a rabble rouser. I'm going to put an end to your little rebellion. And then I'm going to have you and your associates arrested. I have no intention of dying on Tartarus, Captain. Not when there's so much work left to do. I admit I miscalculated the extent of your influence. 
the board's plan never accounted for you. This is a mistake I intend to correct. I have Dr. Wells in my custody. Once I've secured his cooperation, I can move forward with the program. I can repair the damage you've done. I can set things right. I'm aware of your propensity for violence. Halcyon is a bloodier place because of you. I take no pleasure in this, you know. I simply have no other option. Leaving you alive is too great a risk. Goodbye, Captain. I had a feeling you'd say that. This prison is equipped with an auto-mechanical warden. I've had it programmed to eliminate you on site and rinse your remains down a drain. And don't worry. I will inform Dr. Wells that you died heroically or something. That's the end boss. Let's talk with the end boss. Speichern. Ich glaube, ich brauche mehr als einen Versuch. <lacht> Was können wir hier machen? Hacken. 80 von 100. Didim, didim, didim. 90 von 100. Aber wir hatten doch hier sowas. Beschloss knacken. Ach Mensch, muss ich mich ja ständig umziehen. Ja, bevor ich mich noch mal umziehen muss, gehe ich erstmal hier hin und guck mal, was will der denn? Wait, wir müssen hier noch ein bisschen hacken. Warum war das hier? Äh, schleichen. Das, nee. Das war hacken. Da haben wir hier noch eine Heckenmaske. Los knacken. Wissenschaft. Noch eine Heckenmaske, glaube ich, ne? Lügen, Inspiration. War die denn? Habe ich die verkauft? Ich, ich habe die verkauft. 
ziehen. Schade, ich habe die nicht mehr. Doch, da. Okay, so. Ähm. Ich hab schon hier so viel Kram in der Taschen. Gibt's doch gar nicht. Habe ich die nicht deaktiviert? Ich komme. Oh, wait. Vielleicht ist sie ja auch ein Cyborg und der Endboss. Ich speichere mal lieber. <lacht> jetzt benutzen drücke, denn wird er ihn doch töten, oder nicht? Wir machen Speicherpunkt und sehen das. geht auf okay you don't know how glad i am to see you you did the right thing akande was a monster her death was much deserved and long overdue and you you lunatic you broke into the board's own fortress just to rescue one doddering old man you are absolutely out of your mind and i can't begin to thank you enough I'm all right, thanks to you. Akande wanted my cooperation. I'm quite sure she would have beaten it out of me if you hadn't arrived. You've broken the board's stranglehold on this colony, and you saved my life. But there's still so much we have yet to accomplish. You and I are going to have to work harder than ever to save Halcyon. I'm afraid the situation is far worse than any of us ever anticipated. Hm. 
Earth has gone dark. We haven't received a single message in three years. There's been no communication, no signals, nothing. Two years ago, the Earth's Directorate's frigate disappeared on their way back to Earth. We don't know what they discovered when they arrived, or if they arrived at all. So we've got to make do on our own. Seems to me that'll make us stronger in the end anyhow. You're quite right. We've got no choice but to make do on our own. We're in serious trouble, my friend. Do you know what this means for Halcyon? We can't rely on Earth for support anymore. We've been cut loose. We're entirely on our own. Yes, yes, certainly. I'll help however I can. I don't know what happened, but something must have gone horribly wrong. I don't know why Earth's gone silent. I don't even know if Earth exists anymore. We have no connection back to Earth, and return is likely impossible. We're completely alone out here. I heard it from Akande herself. She tried to pressure me into joining her side, you see. Tried to make me realize that all hope is lost, and that we are alone. She was half right. We are alone, and we're going to have to fend for ourselves, because there's no telling what's happened to Earth. You might have heard of the Earth Directorate's frigate. Half the colony's entire military was on that ship. They were returning to Earth when they vanished without a trace. That was two years ago. We haven't heard a word from them since. Whatever happened to Earth likely happened to them. Yes, Akande mentioned as much. Earth hasn't sent us a single message in three years. No one knows why. Akande had kept the truth to herself, perhaps with good reason. Can you imagine what would have happened if word got out? We'd have utter pandemonium. I wasn't trying to hide the truth from you, but after all you've done, I owe you an explanation. Yes, I experimented on the Hope's colonists. Each of my experiments ended in catastrophic failure. Each of my subjects died in agony. You are my first and only success. I didn't tell you about the others because I didn't want to burden you. My failures are my own to bear, not yours. I'm not asking you to forgive me. Law knows I won't forgive myself, but I'm going to try to set things right. My apologies. I need to get a hold of myself. We've far more pressing issues to worry about right now. If you have any more questions, ask me. I'll answer as best I can. Yes, we do. You've done a marvelous thing. You've succeeded where anyone else would have failed, including me. We must begin the revival process immediately, starting with the hopes of brightest minds, and then we're going to fix this damn colony one problem at a time. We're going to need a leader, and I can't imagine a better person for the job than you. What do you say, old friend? Will you help us? <laughs> when I revived you, I thought you were going to help me save this colony. I was wrong. I had our roles reversed, you see. You're the one who's going to save us all. I'm just the one who set you on your path. You're the best thing to ever happen to Halcyon. If you want to take it upon yourself to lead this colony, you have my support. We're not a colony any longer, are we? Our last connection to Earth has been severed, and so we have been set free. Our future is uncertain, and no one knows what tomorrow holds. Exciting, isn't it?
The OSI teaches that everything in the universe happens according to the grand plan. But the stranger that arrived in Halcyon was an unplanned variable. From the moment she landed in Emerald Vale, her actions altered the course of history. The events on Tartarus brought about the end of the board's authority. But the board's mistakes would haunt the colony for decades to come. The damage they left behind would require the work of a generation to repair. Dr. Phineas Wells began reviving a handful of the Hope's colonists, engineers, scientists, technicians, and intellectuals. They were among the brightest minds the Earth had ever sent out into the stars. The Hope scientists and engineers woke up in a colony descending headlong into total collapse. With no way to return to Earth, they had no choice but to band together and devote themselves to the cause of saving Halcyon. The people of Halcyon were nothing if not hardy. In the absence of the board's authority, many of the colony's settlements banded together with a single purpose in mind, survival. Life was especially hard in the years to come. Some towns dissolved by attrition and starvation, but most of them found a way to carry on. In the years to come, Halcyon was forced to reckon with its newfound freedom. The board was gone, and for better or worse, the colony was responsible for its own destiny. Between MSI's worker-centric policies and the iconoclast's manpower, Sanjar and Zora were able to rally many of the Terra 2 townships to their cause. MSI's workforce swelled, and the iconoclasts enjoyed a significant surge in their ranks. The board was too distracted by infighting and internal politics to stop MSI from becoming a powerful corporation and a refuge for townships that might have fallen through the cracks. Consumed by paranoia, Lilia Hagen took Sublight Salvage in a controversial direction, openly accusing board officials of an extraterrestrial conspiracy. One day, an accident at the Groundbreakers' docking bay silenced her forever. Time would tell if her replacement could keep the Sublight family together. The collapse of Edgewater left its workers bereft of any purpose in life. Most of them made their way to Adelaide Medevitt's camp, hoping to ingratiate themselves into her favor. Adelaide accepted only a few to her community. The rest were turned away and likely died of starvation. Nevertheless, Adelaide's camp grew into a well-established town. Adelaide McDevitt refused to cooperate with the ongoing effort to save Halcyon from collapse. A sympathetic deserter stole a copy of her research and delivered it to the Hope's scientists. It is unclear how useful Adelaide's research was. An optimistic estimate suggests her work may have bought Halcyon another few years of survival. Adelaide would never know. She died that winter. Under the leadership of Junlei Tennyson, the groundbreaker held firm against corporate influence. The ship's mechanical stability gave Junlei the time to educate a promising generation of engineers schooled in her family's traditions. The future of the groundbreaker looks promising. The rediscovery of the hope and the abandonment of the lifetime employment program forced Byzantium to come to terms with some uncomfortable realities about the state of Halcyon. While Byzantines were reluctant to surrender the luxuries they'd grown accustomed to, the board's diminished authority gave them little choice in the matter. Nearly everyone had to learn to make do with less. Some even had to get jobs. It was a dark time indeed. Your influence shifted Ellie's perspective. She finally admitted, albeit grudgingly, that she just might need other people. Sometimes. With a steady income from the life insurance payouts, she was finally able to afford a ship of her own. She hired a small crew and flew supply missions to communities on the fringe. Some of them were even legal. Life in Halcyon was sobering for Felix Millstone. The grand revolution he dreamed of never came. There was no great awakening for the colony, 
no celebrations in the streets. There was only the hard, desperate work of trying to repair a broken colony. Felix never had a head for numbers, but if there was labor to be done, he was there to help. Eventually, Felix realized that the work of a revolution was done with two hands. As much as he enjoyed his adventures aboard the Unreliable, the vicar known as Max eventually decided that it was time to move on, to live out the life he had sought so long to create. He knew there were many in the colony who carried burdens much worse than the ones he had struggled with, and he devoted himself to easing their suffering wherever he could. He only ever took up arms again to defend the defenseless. Unshackled from a lifetime of striving and fighting the universe and himself, Vicar Maximilian de Soto was finally at peace. Once the matter with the Hope colonists was resolved, June Lay bashfully asked Parvati if she'd like to join her permanently on the Groundbreaker, and Parvati enthusiastically, if somewhat awkwardly, agreed. The stories of her adventures spread across the colony, and Parvati soon found herself the center of attention. Having served as the engineer of a renowned spacecraft, tramp freighters and wildcat miners sought her out by name. And in no time, she was a fixture in the Groundbreaker's mechanical ecosystem. She and Jun Lei were never far apart. Nioka returned to Monarch to take another crack at making a permanent life for herself. She formed the Charon Group, a mercenary outfit of ragtag survivalists and wilderness experts. Anyone in need of a guide or just looking to throw back a beer and swap stories could find her camping on the trail or clearing an infestation. The SAM unit that accompanied you spread awareness of the product line's superior sanitation and maintenance capabilities across what was left of the colony. This led to a boost in SAM unit sales. Did you know that SAM units are the longest lasting, toughest acting cleaning solution in Halcyon? Minister Clark was released from house arrest and his contact with you gave him a sense of renewed purpose and vigor. Once it became clear that no help would be coming from Earth, he threw his considerable efforts and talents into helping Halcyon manage the crisis before it. As for Dr. Phineas Wells, he spent his remaining years in his orbital lab he eventually came to terms with his own past and was able to forgive the mistakes of his younger self by devoting his remaining years to serving the colony. Dr. Wells was able to revive many more scientists and engineers than he first expected, thanks to the additional batch of chemicals you stole from the ministry. Wells never forgot about the human lives that were lost in acquiring these chemicals. In the end, Dr. Wells was able to save every scientist and engineer aboard the Hope. Over the next decade, nearly all of the Hope's remaining colonists were successfully revived. Halcyon saw a period of rapid technological and scientific advancement. Breakthroughs in dietary supplements saved the colony from starvation. Geoengineering projects and social reforms began to change the structure and character of the colony. Dr. Wells laid the groundwork for the project to save the colony, but he would never live to see the fruits of his labor. He passed away a few years later. His work was carried on by the scientists and engineers he revived. Today, Halcyon has stabilized. The people of the colony work hard to adapt to their new circumstances. Nearby colonies send aid and supplies. Life will never be easy in Halcyon. But for the first time in its history, there exists a sense of real, genuine hope about the future. And what about you, the unplanned variable in the history of Halcyon? Long after Wells passed away, you carried on his work with more energy, determination, and brilliance than he could ever muster. The years that followed were hard, but Halcyon survived by the efforts of the Hope's most promising colonists, the greatest of which was you. No one knows what's happened to Earth, and no one knows what the future has in store for Halcyon. All we know for certain is this, the name of the unreliable and that of its intrepid captain will remain the subject of countless stories for years to come.
Tja. Turchis spielt. Aber ein cooles Game. Kann ja nebenbei schon mal die Reffel schließen. Code vor R. Close. Good luck. And congrats. So many people. Cool. Wir danken noch ihrer Familie und so, Mutter.
hier an. Da haben Aliens mitgespielt. So much people for one game. That's it. It's the end. I think tomorrow we play uh, close to the sun, I think. Yeah, close to the sun. Tomorrow then. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Danke fürs Zuschauen. Thanks for the follows. Danke für alle follows und so. Danke für die Loots. Thanks for the Loots. Wir sehen uns morgen. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Have a great day. Evening.